but your Mandalorian is here. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? Django Fed here, hunting down games, comics, TV shows, movies, and more. And what the hell? I'm in Egypt. What the heck? How the heck did I get here? Well, guys, to the power of green screen, I'm able to do this. So I know I said it would take some time, but I ended up actually just getting a green screen myself, and uh, it looks pretty good. It looks like I'm in Egypt right now. It's pretty awesome, man. It's really awesome. So I might experiment with this a little bit more, see how much more I can do with this. Um, this was just, this is just like a really an experimental video. So uh, I, I mean, I just ended up watching a movie, and then I figured, why not do a movie review and do it something differently with this in the background as well. So I thought it'd be pretty cool. I got the whole kit and caboodle. I got the green screen stand. I got the green screen. I got the lights, though they're not gonna fit in this room. Uh, I'm actually in my computer room right now, recording this. But uh, I'll probably end up doing that later on. Have some room, hopefully, in the future, and set it up. And I'm just worried about the audio sounding good, so hopefully I can work out the kinks of that later on in the future. But today, we're gonna be talking about Stargate the movie. So I remember back in the day, as a kid, this movie came out in 1994, written by and directed by the director of uh, Independence Day. So remember that movie? I remember enjoying it. I really did. And seeing it now, I actually watched this with my mother uh, a couple days ago. And man, this movie is severely dated and not very good. So if you know Stargate, it's... Pretty much the premise is that these people from Earth eventually find this gate which they can travel within other dimensions and within other worlds. So if you've seen from sci-fi and Stargate SG-1, Continuum, Atlantis, so many different spin-offs from the sci-fi channel, though it's been stopped for quite some time. So we got Kurt Russell who is this military guy, you don't really know too much about him other than that his son accidentally shot himself in the face or accidentally shot himself and James Spader is also in this movie who plays as a scientist a young James Spader compared to look how he looks now it's like for years I didn't even know this guy was James Spader like I, the young James Spader I, I never knew that it was just crazy to me when I found out I was like just blew my mind so James Spader Kurt Russell are in this and James Spader you know eventually comes in as this young scientist and just discovers this whole new gate and how to unlock it or how to unlock it I should say so he learns to un unlock it he's a sworn genius and him and Kurt Russell eventually go on a mission he's like okay I know the symbols on the other side I can help you to get back I know this is a military mission so I'll respect you guys or so he says the pacing is pretty bad I mean it goes slow to fast slow to fast and then it just goes all over the place as well as the transitions not very good so they go into the Stargate okay they go into the Stargate pretty cool pretty cool effects back in the day even though the effects now are not very good so they go into this and they go into this pyramid and on the other side it's like just like a regular pyramid but it's a whole new world and then the military guys find out that James Spader doesn't know how to get back. He's like, I, I don't know, I was just wanted to come for the hell of it. You know, I wanted to see this new world. Didn't they even think of just questioning the guy and getting another scientist to back them up or something? No, they just went into the Stargate without doing any analysis. They sent in a probe earlier, but they didn't send in animals just to test it out. They would have to do huge amount of tests for this new discovery. But they instead just send a probe right away and then they just send out all the guys. Like, you gotta test this shit out. You can't just jump into right there. So right off the bat, totally unrealistic right there. And then when they go in, James Spader doesn't know how to get back. He doesn't know the symbols, so... What the f- I mean, if you're going into this world, you wanna come back to Earth. If you're stuck in a world, you wanna come back. So that's another thing like that just doesn't make any sense I know you want you're a curious scientist you want to just risk everything to go to these new worlds and discover these things 
but come on, be realistic. So they discover these people, these natives who are, they're worse than the Gungans. They're, they're horrible. They're just super annoying. They're just incredibly stupid too. I mean, like, didn't they advance towards society as well to, to, towards their civilization? I don't get that. They're like primitives. They're like super primitives. Even though their masters have like the super technology and stuff. James Spader bonds with this other girl. I eventually kick it off. He eventually goes with this girl to this underground cavern and they see all these writings. He deciphers it and eventually they he starts to understand it, his, her, her language. Um, but the thing is, he learns it in like so quickly that he like speaks it so f frequently like so fluidly which doesn't make any sense whatsoever that throws believability throughout the window plus in this movie they were spending half of the movie trying to understand these people but they couldn't understand a goddamn word they were saying they were like speaking through hands and even that even then it just didn't add up to these guys it didn't make sense to them so, seeing James Spader's character go in this cavern and then know it automatically and just like know this language, that, that, that was just completely fucking dumb. Like he just knew it and then he spoke to these people fluidly and understood them perfectly. That, that, oh, that's just fucking stupid. Now I will say this movie takes a while to like actually become interesting. So when Ra and his guards come up, that's when it becomes interesting. So I actually loved the visuals back in the day and seeing it now, the visuals for the raw guards with their like, you know, uh, Anubis heads, Horus heads, you know, the eagles and, you know, all these different animals that they, you know, symbolize on their heads. Uh, and then the, just the rest is just like unprotected. I thought that was pretty cool, you know, just like seeing the heads move and animate i thought that was so fucking cool that was badass but when they take them off the cgi animation is pretty fucking bad but it is 1994 so i will you know take that for a grain of salt but i mean i did like the visuals on how they did this movie i thought it was pretty good but it helps that the animation for the heads was not cgi but it was actually like full motion robotics i thought that was so fucking cool and raw is just a silly fucking villain he is horrible he was really really bad he's not a very good villain at all <laughs> and he's just very cheesy and he's just like this tomboyish character just like mm, mm, mm. so eventually they out thwart the these guys and you know they win in the end and then kurt russell goes and then James Spader stays and you know that's that's pretty much the movie but also I want to mention that another thing so these natives don't know anything about these people they're just barely trying to understand them for some reason these natives all of a sudden learn how to use guns after the military guys that came through the Stargate didn't teach them once didn't show them how to use guns didn't show them how to do anything they just, they didn't even understand each other. And then all of a sudden these natives come out and then they know how to use guns in like five minutes. They grab these guns like, oh man, look at these guns. And now we're gonna, like, they know it automatically. I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? That's another stupid ass plot hole. That, I think that was, that was probably the dumbest plot hole. That was the biggest plot hole in this whole movie. Ugh, I thought Stargate was a good movie, but it's not. So, Stargate the movie, Get say. Man, I thought this was a really good movie back in the day. But now it looks like I need to watch Independence Day. Hopefully that ends up being good please be good so this was just a random video i just wanted to talk about stargate and you know use my green screen that was the biggest thing just use the green screen thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to please like this video comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel django fat and expect some more videos uh another star wars video gaming video 
Force Unleashed gaming review video is coming up soon, and I'll be having a bunch of movie reviews, John Wick 2, as well as Lego Batman, so expect those movie reviews on my channel, as well as the rest of the content. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!